Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And today we're here with Classic. Classic or Classic? Classic. Classic. Um, to look at a few of his ships, I, I, or at least one, we're going to see. So, um, Classic, let's take a look. And this is Scipion Mark I. Oh, okay. Uh, I start. I started on a multiplayer server that had a lot of resources, and when I had a lot of resources, did my mining, did my base. I went on creative to design a, a battleship to go around, uh, you know, pirating. Oh. Uh, so this was the result of that impulse. Right. So it's it's very small. It's it's very battle stationy. Yeah, this is okay. This is very cool. Is that a is this a um, remote control block up here? What is that? Oh, I just got stuck. Oh, that's the that's the artificial gravity, and there's also artificial gravities be, below the hyperspace. Well, that is what what is what is. Hang on, I'm uh, gonna uh, on top uh, above the chair, right? Um. Yeah, above the chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a uh, art artificial gravity block. Oh, artificial mass block. Mass block. Ah, okay. So, so you see That's for the gravity red, uh, drive. Yeah, you see the red gravity generators? Yes. There's one there, and there's two up here. Oh, yeah, okay. And there's, and there's more gravity in the ceiling here. Okay. Oh, uh, you push one button, and it gives you uh, perpetual forward motion. So also, when you're uh, going around flying, uh, shooting your guns, you know, in battle... You want to always go forward. So yeah. They assist, you know? Mm hmm That's very cool. So this ship is deceivingly... Um, I mean, like, this inside of it is very small, but the outside, there's a lot to it, a lot going on, and it's mainly, looks like, engines, armor, and weapons just galore. Galore. <laughs> and yeah. It's got, oh, and miners. It's, it's, well, it's it's hydrogen powered, so I figured oh. it should never be without fuel. So it, it needs to be able to, you know, gather its own ice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's also got two refineries on board, uh, and two assemblers, and four or six oxygen generators. Okay. There we go. I'm kind of yeah peeking in. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> That's okay. But gun galore. Yeah, this is a fighter. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my 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 disadvantage of this build was that it didn't have any ion. Any. Yeah. But you know, sometimes I mean <laughs> sometimes just to save the weight it's worth the risk. Uh but at the same time Yeah. And I just I and mean, now is this the one that you said something about yeah, so there's uh decoy blocks in these pieces out front. That are connected yeah. just with, um, with. So in these points up front, there's deco two decoy blocks. Yeah, which yeah, is and a turret, turret with uh, uh, set to anti-missile. Now this is this is just an interior turret, isn't it? Yeah, because it's an uh, anti-missile turret, so it's oh. supposed to. It, I've okay. got it set at like 200 meters, I think. Okay. So only the missiles that go for the block, you know, for the decoy. Okay, that's cool. So now I, I this have, is yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just moving on to the next ship. So yeah. this is the Mark yeah, II. Yeah, right? yeah. So this is the Mark II. So as I said, I wanted ion thrust. Oh, okay. Uh, I also wanted it to be bigger. Um. Uh, I doubled all the thrusters, <laughs> where the other one has one, uh, two thrusters. This one has four. Okay large hydrogen so the other one's got two large hydrogen going up and down for maneuverability when striking and this one has four going up and down very cool and, and of course the copious use of glass that's nice on the inside the inside yeah i'm already in have, the bridge <laughs> yeah, how do you like that bridge man oh this I'm is so gorgeous it made me feel all star trekky uh-huh Oh, I see. You've Especially got the uh, you've got some gravity drives um, behind glass on the sides, and exactly. yeah. Okay, so sit, go, go sit in the chair. Uh, in no, not not that chair. The passenger seat. 
I'll turn on the gravity gen and you'll okay. see the color change. It's awesome, man. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Only when you're in the passenger I, seat. I am. Oh, very cool. Nice, right? That's very nice. But I actually also wanted to take a look in this in this uh, driver's seat. So I, I wanted to look at this just because I'm surprised from the outside, it doesn't look like it, but from the inside, you have an amazing amount of, of visibility. You. Yeah. I, I can, yeah. I can see in almost every direction. And of course it feels like the, it feels like the bridge, uh, uh, or at least the captain's seat of the MBT where you can't look up, but you can look <laughs> down and forward and left and right. Um, yeah. But still, this is actually really impressive for for the outside. Yeah, like, it doesn't look like you have so much no, visibility. No. There's very little space for, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I think it has the feeling of an army helmet. It does. Right over here. And you're like in the trench. Yeah, and it I, really does. Yeah. Oh, and then look, what's the, this? Oh, and then you've got another cockpit down here. This is the this is the emergency second cockpit. So you respawn and you can immediately go into the cockpit. And this one's less likely to be damaged. It doesn't have as much view, but that's okay because by that point, you're um, gonna get away. Yeah, exactly. That's, there's there's another thing. Um, can you go into the control chair? Uh, which one? Main main cockpit and go external view. Okay. And. You go into the programming and you have uh, repair. L oh my, yes. You've got welders all over the place, don't you? Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you look at the side, you can see exactly where they are and you'll see they're all up the upper armor. Okay. So very much so with this ship, you want to keep you want to keep the bad guys on the upper side. I mean, you're still well yeah. defended underneath, but, um, but it's, you know... Stuff coming yeah. in from the top is really is has almost no chance. <laughs> no, and and most of the welders, like the front welders, are next to the thrusters, right? So they're they're always going to be fixed. I also have okay. a holographic projector in there in this ship. Oh, okay. That projects itself on its place. Yes. So even if the thrusters uh, get totally are totally gone. You can just switch on the holographic projector and the welders, and if the welders are still there, they're just gonna weld it. Yeah. Oh, very cool. So, very awesome self repair. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is. I mean, this is definitely the kind of ship I would want to be in if I was in battle. Right. <laughs> and you <laughs> wouldn't is... want to. You, you don't want to see this in your carrier. Slow, slow turning. Yeah. This yeah. is the utility room. It, this has a the the back exit like a secret back exit nice right goes into the heart of uh of all the the back engines and stuff you need to repair and i got this little turret here to to guard it oh very cool okay oh another and, one of uh, these little personnel turrets yeah and, and of course a bigger mining uh set so i can yep. uh can do some work, and it's got two refineries, two, also two uh, assemblers. Works the same as the the other one. So the first one also has these welders, right? But like six of them, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, this thing has what a dozen. <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah, and uh, also uh, the first one has six rocket launchers. Uh, you know the not the rocket. Um, not missile turrets, right? Rocket launchers. Right. The one at the, fr at the front. This one has 10. Oh, good grief. I don't even see them. Where are they? Oh, there's oh, three on here. each. Oh, here. Okay. On each paw. Okay. And and then there's four uh, here next to the, the hydrogen thruster. The small hydrogen thruster in the armpit. Ah, I see. Okay. Wow, yeah. Oh. And they just barely slip through the armor. <laughs> coming out but yeah. that's good because you're well defended i can uh i saved the game so if you want you can get in it see what kind of steering capabilities is gone and i was just it. going to ask all right okay. so you'll hop into the small one uh, or you'll hop into the big one i'll hop into the small one <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, assuming I can, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, your antenna is your antenna is still on. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at them flying together, brothers in arms. <laughs> oh, good grief! Yeah, that would be a terrifying sight if you were, <laughs> if if you weren't part of this faction. I think it right. would be absolutely terrifying. To see these uh, coming at you. Yeah. And I try to make them like as similar as possible, right? Oh, wow. Because it looks awesome to have like a smaller version. And that's why I'm building like the tier three now, which is going to be a, a true base ship. It's got hangars and stuff. I'll show you. But it's still like I, I started it like two hours ago. Oh, okay. So definitely not done yet. No, no, no. It's 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 hard. but uh, how do you like shooting the rockets in first person? That is. That oh, I haven't fired in first person. Hang on, let me try that. Oh my, yeah, that's just <laughs> they come from right next to you. Yeah. And the acceleration. The acceleration and the and the maneuverability of this ship, I mean, is really impressive. Right. And like the 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 top and bottom thrusters right there's because you're you're gonna move up and down with your mouse right going in for the kill shooting and then mm -hmm. going off uh, they're they're mostly to to have ramming course and then bend off and have the thrust power to to bend off right right because you're gonna that that's that you need way more thrust to to go from to go a 90 degree angle uh, if you want to but uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah, the, I mean, this thing, I would have no... I mean, for the size, you know, it's not a, a light fighter or anything, but for the size, it is impressively maneuverable. And, like, I'm going to turn my HUD back on just to watch the speed change. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's, zero, you're not using the gravity generator, right? I have not turned on the gravity generator at all. No. The gravity generator is like a dual-sided thruster because... Uh, if you go into the controls, you can select all the gravity generators. You just flip, uh, reverse the polarity. So they, they turn from a brake to an acceleration. And then... Are you shooting at me? No, I, I don't know. Put on a self-repair. <laughs> 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 that was great. Oh, like just... Everything started exploding. Uh, um, you put on a self-repair? Yeah, I did. I did. Hang on, let me turn on the. Work? I need to turn on the projector. There we go. And I, I did hit you from uh, behind and below. Yeah. But uh, yeah, those are some rocket salvos at your ass. And uh, <laughs> I think you're still okay. Oh yeah. No, I, I lost. Uh, looks like I lost hydrogen um, thrusters, what but I've still got hydrogen? the. Huh? Uh, you got three tanks. You should. You, the, each ship has uh, three tanks of hydrogen. So, well, like maybe a wing. maybe a connector got lost because I don't have any hydrogen mm -hmm. thrust at all. Uh, you also have a button to put it off, right? Maybe you press that. Um, don't think so. In the control uh, panel, like you have uh, the gravity generator, but also the hydrogen because you want to go off hydrogen to con conserve energy. Uh, yeah, it's on. Okay. Well, and the repair didn't do anything. Uh, it hasn't. On. It's on right now. Oh, am I crashing into you? Yeah. Yep. I am. Yep. You just rammed into me. Uh, oh, that's okay. But, uh, yeah, that's this the is testing part, right? It's it's <laughs> it's also always very fun and, and wise to do. I this. agree. I still have some. I still have some rockets. I need to shoot at you. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Things I'm, are. I'm, I hear. I'm getting a message. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're toast. Ah, uh, no. Oh yeah, come on. You can shoot with that thing, man. <laughs> it, it's also handy to practice a lot with the rockets, because... Yeah, you gotta lead like the target quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's also, I built these fighters to be very mobile and to be always, like, at speed. Uh, and I love the new, or I don't think Ooh. it's new, but the fire thing. The flames. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the way you use it. Just hold the space bar, right? Uh, I have not even hit um, the space bar yet. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, I just I just hold the space bar, because uh, and and forward. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's a good idea. I haven't done a whole lot of like actual fighting in in space engineers, but I can imagine that would be quite effective. Well, anyways, this is probably about time to wrap it up. Um, Anyway, I think we've seen just about everything, and, and these ships are just gorgeous and functional. I'm really impressed. Are these on the workshop? Um, not yet. They're gonna be though. Okay, good. I'm gonna want links. I'm gonna put them in the um, in the descriptions. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, well, it's made for ramming. <laughs> good thing we're in creative. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow. Well, that's a great that's a <laughs> that's a great screenshot a right there. Fun, oh my word! Look at that. That was that was good. Wow, that is just a hunk of destruction right there. Oh yeah. Projector's still working. That's actually impressive. The projector's still working. Just all the important parts are so well protected. That's just very cool. All right, so um, I'm impressed, um, Classic. Your 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 ship design is beautiful, and I'm sure that all of the uh, viewers are impressed as well. So I'm going to leave it here, but if you want to check out Classic's uh, ships, grab them in the workshop. There's a link in the description, or there will be a link in the description. Um, it may not be there if you're jumping on the video real quick, but check back soon and there will be. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up and, and subscribe. I'm gonna try and do more of these kinds of videos. I enjoyed this a lot, and I think you are gonna enjoy it as well. If you are interested in showing off your ship design, then I will have information on how to contact me in the description as well. So look down there for how to contact me and we can talk about it. Other than that, uh, put in some nice comments for Classic and his, and his ships and I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.